Nah, we all know the Undertaker streak ended. Paul Heyman brings it up on Raw all the time. But I want to um, talk about a topic that happened back in like 2006, I believe. There was an idea where Kurt Angle was supposed to end the Undertaker, the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania 22. Instead, they had a match of No Way Out, and Kurt Angle won. Undertaker had Kurt Angle on Hell's Gate, and, and Kurt Angle rolled him up for the 1 2 3. Then Kurt Angle went on to WrestleMania to face Rey Mysterio and Randy Orton in a triple threat match, which Rey Mysterio won. But, anyways, the idea was Kurt Angle was going to end the Undertaker's streak at that WrestleMania. Which a lot of people said that would have been a bad idea. I mean, maybe, maybe the Undertaker wanted his streak to end, anyways, you know. He was even talking about Randy Orton winning the streak. But yeah, Kurt Angle was supposed to be the guy to do it. However, out of respect to the Undertaker, he didn't want to. Kind of like how a lot of other guys felt. Um, but um, yeah, that was the idea. How would you have felt if Kurt Angle ended the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania 22? The Undertaker was, let's see, 11 0. Was like 14 and 0 at that WrestleMania. Because he, the Undertaker faced Mark Henry in a casket match at WrestleMania 22 and won that. And maybe, maybe they thought they thought Mark Henry might have been was going to end the streak. You know, those are those are just ideas. But um, yeah, these are just th this was a topic I was talking about a while ago. I want to give you, I just want to give my thoughts on it. I think if Krangle ended the streak, it wouldn't it would have had some shock value, I guess, like Brock Lesnar. But is that, is that a push Kurt Angle really needed? Because after WrestleMania 22, Kurt Angle was gone. He was going to TNA. And he hasn't been back since. He may never go back to the WWE because of their schedule. And he doesn't feel like he can put on good matches with anybody. That's what he says in interviews. Saying that Johnson could wrestle. But um, maybe if Kurt Angle returned at WrestleMania 30 and faced Undertaker and ended the streak, that would be one thing. But I don't know. I think, I think it'd be a bad idea for Craig to end the streak. You know? End the streak, then go on to TNA. You know? Maybe that's why he didn't do it. <laughs> but yeah, give me your thoughts. How would you feel if Kurt Angle ended the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania 22? Because that was what they thought about doing. And, um, that's all I got to say about that. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you, if you want to. Jackson Longboarding 1. Thank you for watching, and bye.